Hi all, in our series of easily doable questions of April 2024 attempt, today our topic is limits. But before starting, uh, before starting solving uh, questions, I will explain you the purpose behind the series. Now earlier we have started the series of easily doable questions of Jan 2024 attempt. You can see it from our channel. Now, on the similar line, we have started the series of April 2024 attempt. Easily doable questions of April 2024 attempt. Now, the very purpose behind the series is that good percentile is easily scoreable by doing easily doable questions. So, let's come back to our topic. Now, in limits, we have total questions 11 and in which easily doable questions are 5 which we are going to solve. So, let's jump on to our first question. Here is our first question. Now, this says if limit x tends to 1, obviously expression is equal to this. Where, where we have given one condition, then 8m plus 12m n is equal to. Now, now, First, we will we will be using using n h rule. We will be using l h rule. So our limit will be limit x tends to one or uh, one by three. Multiplied by 5x plus 1 raised to power minus 2 upon 3 multiplied by 5 minus 1 upon 3 x plus 5 raised to power minus 2 upon 3. Now whole of this is divided by 1 upon 2, 2x plus 3 and taking derivative of denominator, this will be 2x plus 3 raised to power minus 1 upon 2 multiplied by 2 minus derivative of x plus 4 raised to power 1 by 2 will be 1 upon 2, x plus 4 raised to power minus 1 upon 2. Now, now I will put my x is equals to 1 is equal to 1 sorry x tends to 1 in this limit this will be now here we can see this is 6 raised to power minus 2 upon 3 and here again it is 6 raised to power minus 2 upon 3 so I will take 6 raised to power minus 2 upon 3 common from numerator then inside will be 5 upon 3 minus 1 upon 3 Similarly, when we will look in the denominator, when we will put x tends to 1, this will be 5 raised to power minus 1 upon 2 and this will also be 5 raised to power minus 1 upon 2. So, I will take 5 raised to power minus 1 upon 2 common inside will be 2 upon 2 minus 1 upon 2. So, this will be equal to numerator. In numerator, we will get 4 times 2 which is 8. Now 5 raised to power minus 1 upon 2 will go to the numerator as 8 to 5 divided by now I will take 6 raised to power 2 upon 3 to the denominator this will be 6 raised to power 2 upon 3 and the denominator we will be left by 3 3 be multiplied by 6 raised to power 2 upon 3 now here our question says that the value of this limit is equal to is equal to m root 5 upon n 2 n raised to power 2 upon 3. So from here we can see our m is equal to 8 and n is equal to 3. So from here our 8m, 8m plus 12n is equal to um, 
64 64 plus 36 which is equal to 100 so our answer is equal to 100 and here is the solution and you can see that our answer is correct here is the next question now again we will be using again we will be using using LH rule so first let's uh, read the question let f of x is equal to this integral and my limit of x tends to 0 of fx upon x cube now I got that we need to use LH rule from that that our numerator is an integral. So when we take LH rule, this will be limit x tends to zero determinant. Yes. Limit x tends to zero. A uh, derivative of fx will be x plus sine 1 minus e raised to the power x divided by 3x squared. Now again we will be using using LH rule. So from here our limit will be limit x tends to 0 1 plus cos 1 minus e raised to power x multiplied by minus of e raised to power x now this is divided by this is divided by derivative of denominator will be 6x now again I will be using using Now, now when I will put x tends to 0 inside, this will be 
this part will be um, 1 and this part now here you can see this is a standard limit but when we will put x tends to 0 the term root x minus root x tends to 0 so this is a standard limit and value of this limit will be 1 so 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1 so our alpha is equal to 1 now now here we now we can find the value of beta then we will form this quadratic equation then we can solve it but here is a one interesting fact when i will put alpha is equal to 1 in this equation because the question said uh, said us that these two are the roots are the wait a minute are the roots of the quadratic this quadratic equation so so when I will put alpha here, this will be a alpha square plus b alpha minus root e is equal to 0. Now let's put alpha is equal to 1. So from here a plus b will be equal to root e. Root e. So from here our 12 log e of a plus b and now a plus b will be e is to power 1 upon 2 now this is equal to 12 into 1 upon 2 which is equal to mm, 6 so our answer is our answer is 6 and and here is the solution and you can see that our answer is correct Here is our next question now. This is limit of this is equal to what? So, so now I will take, I will be using, using LH rule or L hospitals rule. Wait a minute. So, this will give our limit will be limit x tends to pi upon 2. Numerator will be written. Numerator will be minus 3x square multiplied by sine 2x plus cos x. Now, derivative of denominator will be 2 multiplied by x minus pi upon 2. Now, I am taking 3 upon 2 outside the limit. This will be 3 upon 2 limit x tends to pi upon 2. And I am taking this minus sign to the denominator. So, I am taking x square outside. Inside will be. Now, sine to x will be 2 sin x. Now, I can write cos x as sine of pi by 2 minus x and when I will take minus sign to the denominator, denominator will be pi by 2 minus x. Plus, now again cos x I will write it as sine, sine of pi by 2 minus x divided by pi by 2 minus x. Now here, here these, these terms are standard limits because our x tends to pi by 2, so this term, so pi by 2 minus x tends to 0. So this will be, wait a minute, 3 upon 2. I will put limit inside. This will be multiplied by pi square upon 4. Multiplied by now this two limits will be one and the remaining will be two plus one so two plus one is three so this is equal to nine pi square upon eight so our answer is option B and and 
Here's the solution and you can see that our answer is correct. Here's the next question now. Now, this question says we have to find the value of this limit. So, so limit x tends to 0 e minus, now I can write 1 plus 2x raised to power 1 upon 2x as e raised to power 1 upon 2x ln 1 plus 2x whole divided by x. Now, now I will take minus e minus e common from the numerator this will be minus e and numerator will be e raised to power 1 upon 2x ln ln 1 plus 2x minus 1 minus whole minus 1 divided by now in the denominator I am writing 1 upon 2x ln 1 plus 2x minus 1 minus 1 and multiply it by the denominator. This will be 1 upon 2x ln 1 plus 2x minus 1 divided by now here I already have divided by so it will be divided by x. Now now my limit will be I will take minus e outside minus e this will be limit wait a minute limit x tends to 0 now when our x tends to 0 1 upon 2x ln 1 plus 2x tends to 1 so this whole part tends to 0 when our x tends to 0 so again this will be a standard limit so value of this limit is 1 and the other limit now I can write this one as ln 1 plus 2x minus 2x divided by 2x square. Now, now this will be limit x tends to 0 minus e. Now I will write ln 1 plus 2x in expansion form. This will be 2x minus 2x whole square divided by 2 minus 2x. This is the expansion of ln 1 plus 2x. Now I, I didn't take it to more than minus 2x square upon 2 because our denominator is 2x square or the power of denominator is 2. So if I take more, more terms, the other term divided by denominator will be 0. Then we will put the limit. So this will be minus e multiplied by here 2x and 2x will get cancelled. So I will get by minus limit x tends to 0 of 2x square minus of 4x square taking 2 to the denominator. This will be 4x square. So 4x square and 4x square will get cancelled. So this will be equal to equal to E. So our answer is option C. And here is the solution and you can see that our answer is correct. Now here are the remaining, remaining questions. Here are the other remaining questions. And here are the answer sheets to all the remaining questions. And from here you can watch or you can see to, there are the there are the links to all the video solutions to 130 easily doable question of Jan 2024 maths paper. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.